Hey everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon. How you doing? Man, this camera is really messing me up because I hate that it's all fuzzy. You can see the cracks in the screen, but it's better to have a fuzzy phone screen and a cracked screen than a, a cracked mental dome. Because that happens sometimes in life. You know, you go through abuse, you go through trauma, and you get fractures in your mind. Speaking of trauma, holy fuck, my daughter found a dead body yesterday. She was on a walk with her roommate, and they were um, walking the dog, and the dog broke a branch off a tree and was acting weird, and there was a lady's body there that was stabbed a whole bunch of times throughout her chest. My daughter said that her roommate freaked the fuck out. Totally. Like, I, I would have freaked out too. Whereas Jasmine, she's seen a lot of dead bodies. We've grown up and lived in crazy places. So, you know, and she worked in forensics. So, you know, being in forensic investigation, what she did was seen bodies and crimes for a living. So she's done a lot. She's only 22 and has done so much. So I'm proud as shit of her. I'm so proud of her. Fuck you, cancer. Fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck off. So my um, Jasmine said that they called 911, obviously, and said there was a body there. I, I didn't even plan on talking about that in this video. But that'll fracture your dome. That'll fracture your dome. So... It's been a, an interesting journey here on earth. You know, all of us go through trauma so many different, in so many different ways. How you deal with it and how you get through it, that's what's key. Because you could easily turn evil. You could easily uh, just acquiesce and go with the plan of the devil just to, you know, be like, okay, whatever. Or you could stand up and say, I see the chaos around me. I see the death, the destruction, the way the world's going. And I choose every moment of my life to stay present and grounded and not let the outside things get to my soul house and you just look at that as being divinely protected because we're still here everybody is eventually going to pass away but we have earth lessons to learn what's yours today mine is on the importance of stability harmony within oneself personal growth you know, that's why I like talking a lot about Supreme Mathematics because they talk about life lessons. I also like Hermetics, allegories, because things are presented in a way where you have examples and can see the directions. I love the Bible. I also read the Bible a lot. But if you don't understand history, it's going to be very difficult to understand the Bible. Because if you're just reading something and looking at the words and mimicking it, but you don't have an inner standing or the knowledge to, uh, to go with it, you don't know what's what. Like some people, in the, when they hear the word seas and ocean, they often think that you're talking about the literal waters. When in some parts, that's not the type of sea that they're talking about. Um, like with the Leviathan, because the Leviathan operates in the sea. You know what, though? We're not going to go to that in this video. I'm in the car. My girls are getting us some coffee. And I intended to say this, hey, how's it going? And good morning. Not good morning, because we're not in mourning. This is not a funerary situation. I just wanted to say hi and see how everyone was doing, but it's turned into this weird rant. I don't know. Today's message, stay grounded. Don't give in to the outside chaos. Don't join it. Also, don't become so fearful that you stop living life. 
Stay grounded and focused. It's a personal journey and it's a personal walk of you within yourself. Getting to know your true self. And I look at all of these things around us as a life test to show what we have overcome because we're still here. Right? Nobody could tell me God isn't real because if God wasn't here to protect me, I wouldn't be here. I would be one of these other people because I know me, I was saved from a lot. I was, you know, I seen a lot of abuse and I went through a lot of abuse, but I was shielded from much worse abuse. Always someone who has it worse. Did I have it bad? Yes. Are there people who have it way worse than me? Yes. Has God seen me through this? Mm-hmm. Has he kept me safe, protected me, showed me the plans of the enemy in advance so that I wouldn't be tricked? Yes. Yes. So, thank you, God. Another thing I want to bring up is a video, in an interview I hope to do soon with my friend Holly. Now, Holly was someone from Black Ops. She was a super soldier. She grew up in the underground military dumps in a cage. She went through a lot of shit. But she's a survivor and an overcomer. And I want to talk to her about how. How she overcame this. I don't want to focus so much on the trauma and what happened and tell me about your abuse. I want to know how you were delivered of that abuse. How did you stay safe during all of that? How did you end up in ministry? How did you help... I want to know about the healing, the deliverance process. I want to know about not the trauma and the turmoil and woe is you of what you went through, but the, oh my gosh, you're so strong. You got through that. How did you do it? See, I want to help come with solutions. Anybody could talk about stuff and it's easy to talk mess about stuff. But let me ask you, what are you doing to help fix it? Complaining about it is not going to cause you to fix the situation, right? No, but maybe taking different actions and maybe helping others, explaining to others, sharing testimony, and then making changes. you got to make the changes within yourself and walk it. Look at the changed person that you've become. Are you still the person you were before? And if you are, were you a good person? Or have you developed better habits now? Or did you stay in that cycle? I want to know what got you out. What did you do? What to, to, to better the situation? Because you know what? A lot of times when we share our testimony with people, we help others and don't even know it. And simply by just sharing, sometimes people know they're not alone and they see a mirror. And if you have taken a bit of a better route than they have, they could look to you for guidance and say, oh, I could take this step this way to be in a better position. And I know it works because I seen this person do it. And they are a somewhat, somewhat representation or a mirror or a reflection of something within myself. Growth, people. Growth. One step at a time. I know my videos all over the place. I'm talking about death. I'm talking about deliverance. I'm talking about life testimony. Um, but hey, it's earth school. This is earth school. You know, basic instructions before leaving earth, Bible, right? So I, I am learning. How about you? Are you enjoying this journey? <laughs> I don't know if I could actually say I'm enjoying the journey myself, but uh, I'm, I'm growing through it. Not everything is fun and games. Even though I smile, it's, it's a, a, something I always do, no matter what. Even when things are not good, I still smile. I don't know how, but I do. But that, I think, has to do with um, having faith. And in order to change things, you have to do different. So if I'm fearful instead, I know I'm fearful, I'm going to try to act the other way. Not acting as in being fake, but changing my behavior, repetition. And then that becomes um, easier over time. And then spiritually, it's easier. Growth, people. 
Let's just have the growth.